a few months ago, NVIDIA released the GE Force GTX 1070 T series, with their Founders Edition card, accompanied by a number of partner boards, targeting the competing Radeon RX Vega 56. The launch put the GTX 1070T right between the GE Force GTX 1080 and 1070 in terms of price and performance, filling a gap that was not particularly wide in the first place. That level of performance was achieved through a new 19SM configuration of GP104 with a 180 watts TDP and 1607 megahertz core clock over the GE Force GTX 1070 with its 15 SMs, 150 watts TDP and 1506 megahertz core clock. And in consideration of that, all partner GTX 1070T cards adhere to the reference 1607 MHz core and 1683 MHz boost clocks. In this way, the model could exist in the $450, $500 MSRP window without significantly cannibalizing sales of the neighboring GTX 1080 and 1070. So for IVGA, they rolled out four GE Force GTX 1070T models at launch, all featuring the same clocks. But as NVIDIA did with the Founders Edition, IPCA is also pushing overclocking as one of the selling points, leaning on their precision shock utility and its GTX 1070T specific overclock auto scan. Going straight to the higher end with the FTW model, today we are taking a look at the IPCA GE Force GTX 1070T FTW2, equipped with the IX temperature sensor and cooling system. GE Force GTX 1070T Specification Comparison of GTX 1070 FTW2 NVIDIA GTX 1070T Founders Edition of GTX 1070 TSC Black Ed. CUDA Cores 2432, 2432, 2432 Texture Units 152, 152, 152 ROP 64, 64, 64 Core Clock 1607 Plus MHZ 1607 MHz 1607 Plus MHZ Boost Clock 1683 plus MHZ 1683 MHz 1683 plus MHZ Memory Clock 8 Gigabits per Second GDDR5 8 Gigabits per Second GDDR5 8 Gigabits per Second GDDR5 Memory Bus Width 256 Bit 256 Bit 256 Bit VRAM 8 Gigabytes 8 Gigabytes 8 Gigabytes TDP 180 Watts 180 watts 150 watts power connectors 2x8 pin 1x8 pin 1x8 pin cooling dual fan open air blower dual fan open air gpu gp 104 gp 104 gp 104 manufacturing process tsmc 16 nanometers tsmc 16 nanometers tsmc 16 nanometers launch date november 2nd 2017 november 2nd 2017 november 2nd 2017 launch msrp 499 dollars 449 dollars 400 $169 current MSRP $569, $519 buy, the IVGA GE Force GTX 1070 TFTW2 on Amazon.com Because of the enforced reference clocks, we have the interesting scenario where IVGA's factory overclock tiers of SC to FTW do not actually denote factory overclocks, though. Presumably the GTX 1070 TFTW2 remains capable of higher manual overclocks than the others. Without such factory overclocks, the distinguishing elements of the GE Force GTX 1070 TFTW2 come down to the IX cooler, power, system, dual BIOS, and, naturally, RGB LED capability, a feature set identical to IVGA's GTX 1070 and 1080 FTW2 IX models. In any case, manual overclocking is still permitted, which IVGA has tried to make as straightforward as possible with their confusingly named Precision Shock Feature Shock Scanner that is exclusive to the GTX 1070T for the time being. In short, Shock Scanner will scan, test, and apply in a single step, as opposed to the multiple steps needed in utilizing OC scanners normally. Without manual overclocking, the GTX 1070 TFTW2 is nominally specified at reference clocks even though the FTW2 features a higher power limit, improved cooling,